everyone this is Tanya here with the memory lane keepsakes as you guys know my videos are made for adults who are 18 years and older so thank you so much for respecting that in today's video I am sharing a prima doll tag creation that I created for a swap on Donna empowered by creativity's channel by the time this video is posted this challenge or this participation for the prima doll tag will be already over and the reason why is because this prima doll tag swap is actually a mystery swap kind of similar to the secret Santa is how Donna explained it on her video so I want to go ahead and film what I created just in case it doesn't get shown because I'm really happy with this tag that I created so I wanted to still share so this will be coming out by the time again this airs the you know giveaway or the tag swap will already be over so anyway, let's go ahead and dig on in so you guys can kind of see um, the different tools that I use to create this tag for this tag swap. So one of the things that I use was this right here. This is a spellbinders dot that I received or I got from Tuesday morning. And I am so glad this was the first time I was able to use this. But I'm so happy that I chose my gut and chose to use something that was out of my element. Um, I thought the background was a little strong for the doll that I chose, but it actually worked out perfect. This is by Spellbinders, and the name of this background stamp is called Tattered Screen. So this is really, really gorgeous, and I'm so glad I got a chance to play around with that stamp. I definitely will be using it in the near future again. Now, the doll that I chose to go with, I didn't choose an adult doll. I chose to go with a little girl. This is Adora. So I chose to go with her. And as you can see, she has a little doll with her as well. So that is really, really cute. And that's why I chose this image because I have not played with her. And I wanted to go ahead and pull her out and see what she was like. And these are my Distress Outside inks, which I had so much fun using. And as you can see, I have the daubers right here as well. And then the colors that I chose to go with, I used the black suit to um, go around the edges of the doll. I use Pick Raspberry. I also use Squeeze Lemonade and Shaded Lilac. These colors are absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love them and had so much fun playing with all of these colors. And so now on for my tag creation because I'm ready to share that. This is my tag creation. So as you can see, this is what she looks like with that beautiful background. So the first thing I did to create this tag was I embossed the background. Um, that was the tattered screen in the background using my um, Versa Fine. And then I also used, um, that's black ink. And I also used the clear embossing powder to get that image to pop up. I wanted a little bit of texture because we were told to keep our tags flat so that way it wouldn't cost so much in the mail since postage has went up. And in addition to that, after I embossed, I chose to go ahead and go with my Distress Outside Colors and place a little bit of color in different areas of my tag. After doing that, I did stamp my doll and create her furs on a different background. I used a little bit of brown paper, which is from the Nostalgic Cardstock Paper from Red Collections and from Michaels. And then I also colored her in a little bit using the... Um, I use the what was it the prism color pencils because I go back and forth between that and my alcohol markers um so this is what I use um, for my doll and to soften her up a little bit because I did fussy cut the clothes on her I used a little bit of the prima um prism color pencils for the socks as well as the bow and then the bow of the doll to soften it up just a little bit and as you can see it's really really light and it did soften that up because it's so bold in the background. This is what I was going for. And I'm absolutely, I love this. And then I add a little bling to the bow to give a little bit more dimension because the doll is glued onto the tag here. But I wanted a little bit of texture on my tag. On the back of this tag, I did go ahead and put my Inspired by Life Created by Hand Stamp. Um, the year I actually created it in my channel name, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes. So this tag will be going to someone that did participate in the Prima Doll swap over at Donna's channel. And I'm not sure who's going to get my tag and I'm not sure who tag I will receive. But by then I'll probably do a video of the tag that I do get. 
And so I'm really happy to be able to share this with you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed my tag. And if you're inspired by creating a prima doll of your own, you can also come over to the collab that um, I also have with a few other ladies here on the YT. And we actually put up a video every Saturday of the month. Now, I'm not sure how long the collab is going to go on for because we're going to play with the dolls until we get tired of them, which that'll probably never be the case because the dolls are so much fun to play with. And if you want to find us on there, I have already created like a playlist for that. Come and find us. It's Julia Nutty Doll 2020 Celebration. So you can come over and find us there if you want to go ahead and play with the dolls since this tag swap right here is already over for Donna's channel. So thank you guys so much. If you have not already subscribed, I hope you choose to. Also, don't forget to um, definitely check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. You guys continue to be blessed as always, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.